Hey, how are we doing today? This is Scott with One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning, Benjamin Franklin Plumbing out of Tampa, Florida. Um, not so sunny today, as you can see, we got storms coming in, uh, potential top tropical storms, or, you know, into a, maybe a hurricane. Um, today we're going to talk about some different things that we can do to protect your home and your uh, HVAC equipment during these storms. Um, some things that are very important, uh, obviously, with the obvious, uh, when high-winded storms come through, definitely want to remove any um, outside debris, um, patio furniture, pottery plants, kids' toys, dog toys. Uh, we don't want anything to become a projectile to hit your air conditioning heating system or any, any part of your house for that nature. Um, in relation to your air conditioning system outside, uh, other obvious things that you can do to protect your home and your, and your investment, uh, any low-lying trees, um, obviously trim those down. You don't want high winds to, to blow them around and, and smack up against the unit and cause potential damage to it. Um, you know, and as well as keeping the shrubbery that goes around the units. A lot of people like to uh, put shrubs around the units to keep it cosmetically um, uh, looking good. Uh, you definitely want to have approximately 26 to 32 inches um, of clearance between the unit and your shrubs. Uh, on a technical level, there's some things that we can do to protect your investment. Uh, we have what's called a storm kit. Um, basically, it's, it's a three to four part um, uh, product that we can put in. Uh, number one being most commonly known as a surge protector. We can protect the outside unit um, from high impact uh, surges. Uh, basically, what it will do is it, it, it connects to the outside unit and uh, any spike in power, when the power comes on, comes off, uh, you potentially can get that spike in power. It tries to absorb that to prevent any, any of that spike going into the home or into the unit. We have a secondary surge protector that goes inside called an ECM surge protector. That protects your, your blower motor on the inside of the home uh, so that way the electronics of the module, that, that, that's kind of the computer that ramps your motor up and down. Uh, one of the most expensive repairs that you can do on the inside unit, it will protect that from getting any spike in surges or potential um, uh, damaging effects from uh, electricity uh, issues. Uh, other things that we can do is called a hard start kit for the outside unit. A hard start kit is designed to, um, it's a capacitor, a large capacitor with a relay switch. A relay switch, think of as a, as a light switch turning it on and off. Um, the hard start kit uh, is designed to give that compressor the initial uh, extra push to turn on. So that way it's not turning on under high strain um, and it, it kind of turns on like you know, pretty easy so that way it's not having to draw a lot of electricity. Um, and the final, the final part of it uh, that we can do to the outside unit for your total storm kit package is a time delay. A lot of times when the system shuts off, um, you don't want to have it do what's called a short cycle, where the system shuts off and turns right back on due to the influx in power um, or even a potential um, system failure, you know, if you're having an issue with the system. The time delay will help protect it so when it has any type of break in power, even if it's not recognized by the thermostat, it forces the unit to shut off so it's not having that sudden surge or the, the uh, initial uh, hard turn on while the system's hot. It allows it to cool down and, and allow the pressures to settle out. Uh, for a good five minutes, if not more, you can adjust it accordingly uh, to your, your local municipalities. Um, but that way you can protect your whole home investment. Your air conditioning heating system is the most expensive appliance that you have in your house. You certainly do want to protect that as much as you can. Um, other than that, definitely doing routine maintenances. Uh, we can talk about checking capacitors, uh, checking the motors and the compressors, make sure the system's running at its full potential. If the, um, the capacitor itself, uh, you know, you have a run capacitor along with your hard start, the run capacitor helps maintain the, the high level RPMs of the motor and the uh, compressor. Um, if that starts to fall weak within the manufacturer, manufacturer um, specifications, then, then we can make that recommendation for replacement as well. That's, that's you know, you're gonna be your complete circuit. Um, other than that, we definitely want to make sure your, um, your drain lines are clean. Storms do produce a lot of high humidity. Uh, more humidity also involves more uh, moisture being taken out of the air. Sometimes up to one or two gallons per hour uh, can be um, uh, removed from your air with your system running. Uh, that, that's a lot of water that you want to try to get out as quick as possible, making sure the drain line is free flowing so you don't get any potential water damage inside the house. Uh, during the storms though, uh, during the initial storm, especially when you know, you're starting to get a lot of the heavy lightning and, and, and um, the loud thunder, 
uh, as those severe storms approach, it's always recommended to turn the system off completely uh, by the breaker. A lot of people will do it by the thermostat. Uh, the recommendation is by the breaker so you don't have any issue whatsoever with uh, um, damaging effects to your unit from power surges or spikes or brownouts. Um, if you do it by the thermostat, you obviously can do that, but the low voltage side of the unit where the thermostat controls, that is still getting energy uh, and power going to it. So you know the potential for damage to the thermostat is there, um, but definitely by the, um, the breaker, 30, 40 minutes uh, of downtime, no air conditioning is certainly better than system failure and the cost associated with, with such. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as uh, our recommendation on whole home protection during storms and, and, and severe um, storms coming through, tropical storms and hurricanes. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.